And you do get the impression that the way the world works now is there are certain groups uh, to whom free speech applies. You can do a, a vulgar musical like Book of Mormon, right. uh, but if Book of Muhammad opens, there's a big smoking crater where the theater used to be the day after and, opening and we're night. Starting, and Mark, we're starting to see this playing out in public schools across the country, where just a few uh, days ago I wrote a column at foxnews.com about the, uh, the high school holiday concert where the youngsters were belting out a rendition of Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Yeah. Now, yeah, well, yeah, that's, honestly, that's from the Andy Williams Christmas yeah, show, I think. Oh, yeah, <laughs> very moving, very, yes, uh, very festive uh, album there. But, but I think what we're seeing here is the Islamic faith being given accommodation in public schools now, while the Christian faith is being marginalized, and that is a very it's disturbing trend. I mean, yeah. you have people that on college campuses that are talking about basic freedom, that are talking about protecting the Constitution, that are condemned, that they're somehow viewed as, as inhibiting, I don't know what, the entering the modern world or whatever it may be. So there's a religious component to this when it comes to Christianity, but there's also this idea on college campuses that if you're not part of this collectivist groupthink, yeah. that somehow there's something wrong with you. Yes, it, it, it's, it's beyond religion. It's the yeah. idea that there's a correct view on climate change and there's a correct view on bathrooms for the transgendered and the list gets longer and longer and longer and so the idea that there's r space for dissident opinions on an ever lengthening uh, group of subjects uh, diminishes well there isn't there's no tolerance and remember a couple of months ago you had the black